example, what if I have to write, I have a uh, equation of motion by looking at the force acting over here. And you have acceleration. What kind of acceleration do you have? M R the box here and then you have two acceleration right but if you use energy principle and you can write kinetic energy of this system is one half. If I use a coordinate theta over here, M, V scalar, and the V, you know that this is the velocity in this direction, therefore the velocity in this direction has to be M, R, theta dot, scalar. Potential energy due to the elevation of this mass from this datum to here.
Interesting. In fact, I al already mentioned this approach when I taught dynamics. Okay, second question. What if there is a damping? What if there is a damping? How can you apply energy principle if there is a damping? Suppose I have a damping, damper. For example, I have a damper here. For example, how can I make a damper with you? Maybe I have some damper. State one to two has to be what? Change of kinetic energy. That's the uh, basic principle of energy principle, basic form of energy principle, right? That is change of This work done is by definition. Definition of work. Okay. For spring, how much work is done by the spring? Okay, suppose I pull down the mass. Okay. Then there is a force acting on the mass that is in this direction. That is Kx. <coughs> and when I pull down with a certain velocity, there is a force acting on the damper in the Cx stuff. And worked on due to the spring, There is a work done due to damper. The first one is if I set up the coordinate like this, the force F is minus because F is a vector. And then I have dx. And then I have to integrate when x equals 0 to x. Okay. 